over how future elections should be handled came to North Charleston today. A group of activists calling on Senator Tim Scott to help pass U.S. Senate Bill S-1, the For the People Act. The bill is proposed by Senate Democrats to change how national elections are held. Our Eli Brand was at the event and got the senator's response. Setting up to try and keep Senator Tim Scott from letting them down. I've been working a lot since about, since about 74. Edward Bryant III was one of the people calling on the senator to pass Bill S-1. He says he's worked as a poll watcher at elections for nearly 50 years. Because each individual deserves the right to vote, it is my ultimate responsibility to participate at any level necessary. Senate Bill S-1 is widely supported by Democrats in the Senate and would allow for anyone to vote by mail, would ban states from requiring IDs to vote, and requires over two weeks for early voting. I'm an African-American who's voted in the South my entire life. I take voting rights personally. Senator Tim Scott's office responded to the calls for his support of the bill by pointing to the GOP response he gave to President Biden's first joint session of Congress in April when he spoke on the bill. What is going on here? I'll tell you, a Washington power grab. This misplaced outrage is supposed to justify Democrats' new sweeping bill that would take over elections for all 50 states. This is not about civil rights or our racial past. It's about rigging elections in the future. Scott says he agrees with other GOP senators that the bill is a federal takeover of elections. Without our vote, we don't have the United States of America. Lawrence Moore is the director of Carolina for all the organization that put on the event in North Charleston today. He says Scott's response is about partisanship not solutions. It's typical Tim Scott. Uh, we're not here to be concerned about le left and right. What we are concerned about is our democracy. To make America great, we got to make sure it's America. For Bryant, this is about hammering down what he calls current voter suppression in U.S. elections. In the real sense, in the real mind, they are actually started and stealing the vote right under your nose. Working for you, Eli Brand, ABC News 4.